This one may end up being a little bit of a controversial video, but it's something which I saw yesterday on Reddit when I was browsing, and I did think this is something that I want to share in a video, because I think it does relate to the FUD that we are seeing. Now, I'm going to dive into all of that in just a second, but if you do enjoy it, of course, as usual, do subscribe, share the video, we're trying to grow the channel, and feel free to check out all of the other stuff on AMC that we post, we do a lot of stuff on a daily basis. Now, we're going to dive quickly into this one, hopefully it's going to be a relatively short video, but I do want to take some time uh, to go through it and decipher each of the points which I see key here. Now, again, it's coming from Reddit. We don't know who the user was because it is deleted, but again, I did see this yesterday. I had a search for uh, what I could remember the title was, and unfortunately, the image is deleted too, but I did want to uh, speak about this one. Now, again, it may end up being a controversial video because... Well, we'll read of it, we'll have a read of it, and you will see why. So, saying this, I originally posted it in r slash anti-work, a different Reddit forum, and it says I was, I was told to post it here. I worked at AMC for almost eight years. We had to sneak breaks on 10-hour shifts by hiding in our closets uh, under or under the counters. This was normal for both management crew and especially the DITs. So... Right, this originally came with an image showing staff members apparently under a desk at AMC. Maybe you can find the image, it, it doesn't really matter either way. But the post is what I wanted to speak about, right? So, to break it down, again, it's really been deleted now, so you can't really have a read of it or anything. But it was briefly speaking about how work conditions at AMC are apparently bad. And, you know, work conditions anywhere being bad is a terrible thing. But I want to break this down because work conditions, yeah, if you want to post that in a different forum uh, about AMC, that's completely fine. But this is not r slash AMC about the movie theatre itself. It's r slash AMC stock. And what this is doing is it's saying, well, I worked at AMC for almost eight years. And to break that point down alone, you know, if AMC was such an awful place to work, why did you uh, work there for almost eight years? But anyway, so talk about sneaking breaks, and to me, um, this does seem like kind of against the rule, so I do question how legit this concern even is, whether this actually happened, but I think it does go back to FUD, because as I said just a second ago, if this really was about AMC and the working conditions there, it would be posted in a different forum. Here, it's been posted in r slash AMC stock. Emphasis on the stock. I think it does read back to the FUD that we're seeing increasingly um, diluted in a way, in the sense that FUD at the start of the year, as in 2021, I spoke about this before, there was some real fair arguments to be bearish in AMC. The company wasn't doing well, we did have the whole pandemic thing, and it was quite uncertain as to where the company was going in the future. But now, it looks like we're coming out of the pandemic, the company's doing well, movies doing fantastically, and I think right now, they're starting to realise there is not much that they can do. So, this new one about working conditions seems to be a new piece of food in my eyes. Again, maybe it's legit, I, I do hope it's not, but what I'm trying to say is, it seems to be a new way of trying to get people to kind of second guess AMC and think, hey, is a stock even worth holding? Now, in my opinion, it is still a pathetic attempt because people are going to hold the stock if they want to. But really, this alongside the whole argument of, quote unquote, the house always wins, that's another one that I'm hearing increasingly. It's just really strange. It shows to me that the tactics and the methods are becoming increasingly weak and there's becoming increasingly less of a bear case. Now, I made a video a very long time ago on AMC. I think it was around the time that the Spider-Man film came out. And at that time, AMC was really coming to a point where it was turning itself around in a very big sort of way. And I said then, it's going to a point now where the bear argument is becoming obsolete and we're going to see it becoming weaker and weaker in the near future. And here we are, a couple of months on, and look where we are at. The bear argument is really, really questionable. Again, there's no fundamental substance to it, and that alone, to me, is what's really funny. Because remember back to the start of 2021, you know, that February to, let's say, uh, August period, really, for the majority of the first to mid half of the year, it was a whole argument of, oh, well, fundamentals are so key for AMC. It's very important to look at fundamentals if you think this one's a worthwhile play. Well, guess what? Now fundamentals are looking good. Fundamentals apparently don't matter so much according to them. And that's what I find is really interesting. Again, it is that whole argument of the house does not always win. 
It's a video coming out either later or it will or it will have already been published. It's speaking about BlackRock and the losses that they have faced on some other stocks so far this year. Massive, massive figures. So I think it's becoming more and more evident that the house does not always win. And it's becoming increasingly hard for them to divide and conquer the ape community. But they definitely are going to still try if you ask me i think they do have to because there's no other way no other legitimate way they're going to get people to want to sell people are very clever and people are uncovering what we've already known for a long time but now it's becoming certain as we have these updates that we want to hear so that's all i wanted to speak about in this video guys coming to the end of it now i want to say a massive thank you for joining me in this video i hope you did enjoy it again i want to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments do you think this was a legit complainer or do you think it was just somebody trying to spread food again with the way it was posted with the forum it was posted in and with a few of the holes in the argument i personally would point more to the food side of things but i want to hear your thoughts down below so thank you so much for joining me in this one. Hope to see you later for more stuff. But for now, guys, it's a goodbye. See you all soon. So thank you for watching through till the end. But let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen, you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously, it is split into multiple sections. Basically, at the top, we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further, we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs, and other hot stocks, including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well. And we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down, you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes, and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon